So what up everybody, it's Pat Draper and this is the scripture of the day and before I start I want to apologize for kind of not posting these as much as I should. You know, I, it's, it's been a rough time, classes, stress, d- depression, just a lot, lot of stuff that's going on, but you, but you know that the only person who could, who could give us rest and give us healing is Jesus Christ, and that's why I'm that's why I'm cho- choosing to do these on a regular basis. I want to do them daily, like I like I've done in the past. But with everything that was going on, it's kind of hard. But I start spring break next week. No classes, so that gives me plenty of time to. Get the get this done. All right, but we have let's see scripture today comes out of Luke chapter twenty four verses forty six through through forty nine, and it says and said unto them, thus it is written, and thus thus it behoved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day. And that repentance and remission of sin shall be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witnesses of these things. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endured with power from on high. Pretty much, this is Christ letting letting them know that he's going to suffer for three days, and then he's going to... Rise, and in his suffering and in his death, our sins our sins will be forgiven, and we'll be we'll repent. And with his death, I with his death, it becomes our duty to share share this with other people. Pretty much sharing the gospel because we'll we'll be witnesses of all this, and along with it, God will send send us the Holy Spirit, and in that Spirit we'll be able to let others know that He's coming back. He's coming back for each and every one of us. He's coming back to take us to heaven. He's coming. He's coming to save us from all the turmoil, all the depression, all the heartache, and everything. Everything this world has to offer, because he has a, he has a better plan for us. And at time at times where everything that's going on, it's been it's been hard to kind of keep the faith. But things like this remind me why I should keep it, because. The word, the word of God predicts it, and the word of God has never, never led in anybody astray. It's always been, been right on time. And that's one thing that a lot of people often get upset about because it's take, because it's taking a long time. They seem to think that nothing's gonna happen. But everything that the Bible has has predicted happened. Everything that, that that's to come will happen, and before long we're gonna be saved from all this. And I, I stand by that. No matter what anybody else tells me, I stand by that because I know that God that God takes care of everything. He takes care of of everybody that that has that faith in Him, even those who don't have a faith in Him sometimes. And eight eight twenty eight in Romans says everything works out for the good of those who love him. And I'm I mean I'm pretty much living proof of that. And the fact that so many people are broken and so many people turn away even though they're broken, they turn away from their sins. That, that that's proof of it. The fact that I wake up every morning is, is proof. 
So that, I mean, there's there's just nothing anybody can anybody who can, who can say to me that'll that'll make me turn my beliefs over. That's how that's how I am, and that's how I stand. And I love y'all. Y'all take care. Have a blessed day. Peace.